Okay, Facebook Live, how you doing? Um, hope you guys are having a good day. We're freezing here in Tennessee, so I'm working out of the bunker basement. So I just want to give you this quick reason why, first and foremost, the circle May 10th, I said this before last week, um, the economic data that's coming out is going to be completely opposite than it was. It's trending that way and all indicators are pointing that way, but it's going to be completely opposite than what it was a year ago, which is a good thing. Um, I keep on saying this, all, all trends are looking towards rates coming down. No guarantees whatsoever. Okay, just let me put that out there. Uh, I always show the graph what happens during recessions and everything else. But roughly in the low fives, possibly high fours. Once again, no guarantees on that. So circle that date, that's a big date, okay? Rates are still trending down a little bit, bounce back up, trending a little bit, but that's a big, big date. Now, should you wait until May 10th to buy? Absolutely not, and here's the reason. What do you think is gonna happen when rates start trending down, okay? You're gonna have everybody on the sideline getting in, which means there's gonna be more competition which means what? We have a supply and demand. We have an inventory issue, right? So when you have more people jumping in, that means it's going to be boosting the, um, you know, boosting the uh, high demand, you know, and prices up. Okay, we all remember what happened a year, a year and a half ago when people putting offers in for fifty thousand dollars more. Uh, you know, that, that's the extreme, but putting you know above price and, and everything else. So here's the thing: get into the house now, okay? Get in the house now and then restructure that loan down the line if it makes sense to, okay? A good strategy for that is a 2-1 buy down. What is a 2-1 buy down? So let's say interest rates, I'm just picking a number here, it's not the rate, okay? Let's just say six and a half as an example. Your first year payment is gonna be based on a four and a half percent payments, 2% less starting for the first 12 months. So all that savings, so people are saying, well, should I just wait because I could get close to that? Well, here's the thing. It's going to be a lot more competitive, you know, in the springtime than it is now. So put the offer in now, get the house now, get a 2-1 buy down, get the seller to pay for that. Okay. And that's something that we can help you with educating on that part. Have the seller pay for that. Then if it does make sense down the line to, to refinance, you refinance somewhere in the low fives or high fours, depending on what's going on. Let's get no guarantees on that. However, when you look at charts over the last 30, 40 years, it's the same trends, okay? It's, that's what we look at. So, and you could do that, you could lock it in, in the high fours, low fives possibly, okay? And then at the same time, uh, still get into the house now before it gets really like a frenzy. And it will be. Anybody who's say, saying that the market's gonna crash has no idea, they're not looking at the numbers, Okay, it's supply and demand. When I was, you know, I've been in the business over 20 years. So what happened 15 years ago is that people, there was, there was so much more supply than there was a demand. Now it's completely opposite. It's going to be that way for a while. I say this stat all the time. Pick the, the decades 1980 to 1990, 1990, 2000, 2000, 2010, those three decades. Okay. Each decade, roughly about 25 million homes were being built. Okay. Per decade from 2010, 2020, less than seven. That's the problem, okay? Then you throw the supply chains in there, then you throw uh, construction financing going on the back burner and, and all this other stuff. Um, so right now, it's gonna take a long time. We feel that there's gonna be an inventory issue for the next few years. Whatever that few years is, who knows? But use that strategy, okay? But even if you don't do the two-one buy-down strategy, okay, let's just say you go straight and you just get a 30-year fix, uh, you know, the same rate for 30 years, Get the house now, it's gonna be a lot less comp you know, competitive during the springtime. You know, so don't worry, don't make your decisions based on interest rates, okay? Because there's so many other factors that, that, that you're not thinking about. Think about, you know, interest, think about the appreciation, okay? Going up two to 3%, um, 4%, you know, somewhere around there, depending on what part of the country you're in. Sometimes it's higher. Um, so, th you know, think about that, but get into the house now and then you know, watch for springtime. Rates are going to start coming back down again. And then a lot of people are going to jump in. Now you're going to be a lot more competitive. Now you're in a bidding war and so forth because you're waiting for the rate to come down. Makes no sense. I understand about budgets. I understand about all that stuff. And we can coach you through that. But May 10th is going to be a big date about, you know, for, you know, for the data. But don't wait for that. Get into the market now 
because you can always do something with that rate later on. Make sense? All right, hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.